head over to the emergency department to see one of our favourite cases. And this one came in on a chopper. Show offs. <laughs> Landing on the accident and emergency helipad is nine year old Jamie. His neck's being supported by blocks and tape to stop it moving. What's gone on, Jamie? I fell on my neck, funny. And then loads of people landed on me. How did that happen? Jamie was playing in a rugby match with his mum and dad cheering him on from the sidelines. Yeah! Give us a J! 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 Give us an A! A! Yep, got it, thanks, Son. Jamie is a fullback and was making a heroic run to reach the ball. Yeah! Go, Jamie! Go, Jamie! Go, Jamie! Everyone was hot on his heels. Go, Jamie! Go, Jamie! Go, Jamie! But he landed on his neck and all the others piled in on top of him. Ouch! Here's Dr Julie Grice to inspect for any damage. Any pain at the front? No. Does it hurt there? Yes. We worry about neck pain because your spinal cord goes through there. I'm just going to poke down your back, OK? I want you to tell me whether it hurts. You say yes or no and try not to nod or shake your head, OK? Dr Julie and her team have to move Jamie very carefully because they don't want to make any injury even worse. Does it hurt anywhere there if I'm pressing? With Jamie clearly in pain, Dr Julie can't rule out a spinal injury, so she's booked him in for an X-ray. While he waits, the nurses tape him back up to the supporting blocks and the doctor asks Mum to give him some medication for the pain. Find out what happens with Jamie's X-ray later on. <coughs> Until Dr Julie knows how bad his injury is, Jamie can't be moved, so the X-ray machine is coming to him. Don't worry, you don't need to do anything. You just need to lie there, all right? Well, not a problem. He's stuck down to the bed. What's the final score, Dr Julie? The X-ray shows there's no bony injury. He just has got pain on the right side of his neck over the muscle, which would fit with a kind of whiplash injury when your head is thrown forward and back. In your neck, you have lots of muscles which are attached to your bones with tendons. A sudden impact can tear these tendons and muscles. It's called whiplash, and it can be painful, but it will heal. Brilliant! So, there's no damage to your bones or spinal cord. What do you think of that, Jamie? I'm relieved. And after a bite to eat, Jamie can go home. But watch out, Dad's got his eye on that sandwich. Have you learned any lessons from today? Try and get on the ball a bit earlier before anyone else gets on it. Top tactics. Good luck with your next match. Bye! Bye. OK, Chris, you start. You sure? Absolutely, Chris. This is yours for the taking. Go ahead. You start. Kick it off. OK. In the A&E department... There's a new case just through the door, and it's not for the squeamish. Over in Sheffield Accident and Emergency Department, 15-year-old Abdul is waiting with his mother. Now, that's what you call a bandage. It's a whopper. I slipped and banged my head. How did he do that? It was lunchtime at Abdul's school. Hmm, lunchtime? Was it fish and chips? No idea. Abdul was actually playing five-a-side football with his mates. Yes, but does he want salt and vinegar? Zan, concentrate. Everyone knows there's no food allowed in the sports hall. Good point. Now, Abdul is the star striker. He had the goal in his sights. He reached for the ball. Nothing can stop this lad from scoring. Well, nothing except sliding headfirst into a door. Ouch! How are you feeling now, Abdul? My forehead is open. It's opened? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Get Dr. Claire O'Connell in here quick. First, Dr. Claire takes a look at that bounce. Here comes a gross alert. Whoa! You've got quite an impressive cut on your head. A big bump to the head always needs to be checked by a doctor because it could cause concussion. Keep looking at my finger. Which is a minor brain injury. I'm not going to get stitches. Probably. Tough luck, Abdul. Nurse Emma gets to work with anaesthetic gel to numb the whole area. I'm just going to use some water just to clean it a little bit. OK. Get ready again. Mega gross alert. No, I mean it. If you're squeamish, you won't want to see what's coming next. Is that skull? Yep. You've actually cracked the bone on the front of your head. What we're going to need to do is a special scanner called the CT scan. The CT scan takes detailed 3D images of Abdul's head. Find out what the results are later on. Abdul has 
had a 3D CT scan of his skull and brain. The results are in. You've broken your skull at the front here. Because of that, it's likely that you'll probably have to stay in hospital tonight. With any head injury, it's always possible that something will develop. And because he's got the fracture, the neurosurgeons need to observe him closely to make sure he doesn't deteriorate. Time to hand over to Dr. Hassan Siddiqui, a.k.a. the Super Stitcher. Once the anaesthetic kicks in, Dr. Hassan has this all sewn up. Ready for some blood? He starts with dissolvable stitches in the deep tissue. He then sews up the middle layer before finishing with finer thread on the surface, which will need to be removed in a week. It's a lot of stitches. What's the score? 21 feet. Wow! And he's as cool as a cucumber. It's a long procedure and he's relaxed and staying still and quite impressive. It's not hurting as it was before. I think I can handle it. Abdul heads up to the ward for an overnight stay. It's a new day. How are you feeling, Abdul? Yeah, feeling better than yesterday. Yesterday I had a little bit of headache and that, but it got better and better. Does this mean he can go home, Doc? Abdul is OK to be discharged home, but he will need to take a rest oh. from activities for a period of about three months. Three months? That's ages. But it will give Abdul's skull fracture time to heal under the wound. Maybe rest up on the headers, Abdul. Bye! Now, miracle things are always at the way. Sand, the sweet, please. And the other one. OK, now continue. <clears throat> Medical teams are always at the ready. Let's see who the first case in A&E is. And my sweet back. No. Six-year-old Winnie is waiting to see the doctor with her mum in the children's emergency department. Look, poor Winnie has a sling. I got so loud. Winnie walks with a walking frame, so I saw her wobble and then topple over. So that's why I'm a bit worried it might be fractured. Oh, no! How did it happen? Winnie was at her favourite after-school activity. And what's that? Well, she does lots of activities like dance, swimming, tennis, cheerleading. Wow! So she was dancing in the swimming pool with the tennis racket while cheerleading? No, Zahn. Winnie's absolute favourite thing to do is play over at her best mate Sophie's house. Well, it looks fun. Yes, but as they were playing catch in the garden, Winnie slipped on the wet grass, trapping her arm underneath her walking frame. Ouch! Oh, dear. Let's hope Dr Ashley Timings-Thompson can get you sorted. First, the doc checks the nerves in Winnie's arm by making sure she can feel properly. Please play a game, OK? Ooh, I love a game. What you need to do is close your eyes really tight. No peeping. And then when I touch you on your arm, just say yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Very good. Winnie wins. Time to check her movement. That's all. I think you might have broken a bone in your, in your elbow, OK? <laughs> so what we need to do is get an X-ray. I like having X-ray. Do you? It's like a computer of you taking a picture of inside, and when you look at it, it's very interesting. Well, you're in luck today. You're getting two x-rays from different angles. Girl, you're all finished. And then it's straight to the dock for the results. Look at your x-ray. I just wonder if you've got a very small break in this part of your bone here. So what we're going to do, put your hands in what we call a collar and cuff, just to keep it steady overnight and then we'll bring you back tomorrow, see how you're getting on. OK. Winnie needs to see an orthopaedic surgeon, a doctor who specialises in bones. Tomorrow I'm going to come back to see if I need any further treatment. OK, Winnie. We'll be back to find out how you get on. <laughs> Winnie's x-ray showed she might have a small break on her elbow. My arm is stinking. Don't worry, you're back to see an orthopaedic doctor who specialises in bones. Here's Dr Janet Cumberland. Does it hurt when I press on there? Yeah. OK. Can you straighten it out? Oh, that's fantastic. I think your arm's OK. Brilliant news! For her to be this comfortable only the next day, I'm very happy she hasn't broken anything. When they looked at the x-ray in A&E, they could see this little irregularity on the surface of the bone and they wondered if that might be a break. Lots of bones can have little bits of irregularity in them. That's just normal for the patient. 
fabulous. So you can carry on doing dancing and cheerleading. Yay! Yeah. Yes, Mum, but Winnie still needs to take care. She's damaged the soft tissue around her elbow, which can take up to six weeks to heal. I'm feeling very happy. Any advice for me and Chris when we're playing catch? Not to go on the grass when it's slippery. Got it. Bye, Winnie. The doctors and nurses in A&E never know what's around the next corner. Ooh, ow, ow. Let's, Let's find out, out shall we? we? Today, waiting with his mum in the emergency department is nine-year-old Will, who's mad about motocross. I love riding my bike all the time. If someone said to quit, I'd just look at him like... like that. You're clearly bonkers about bikes, Will, but is it a bit dangerous? In the last few months, I've had about four breakages, two collarbones, my patilla and my tibia. Crikey, what's happened this time? I bang my kneecap on a big rock. Ooh, let's find out more. Will was competing in the British Motocross Youth Championships in Oxfordshire. Chris, I'm loving all the safety gear. Yes, even down to the blue gloves. The race began. And here comes number 31, it's Will. He's coming from the back. He's moving further up the field. Chris, you're really getting into this. It's all so exciting. Will's into sixth place. Go, Will! He's accelerating hard. Oh, no! It's turned into a wheelie! The bike is out of control! Yikes! Number 31 is off his bike. He's landed knee first onto a rock. Ouch! Will went straight to the nearest hospital and had x-rays taken soon after he was injured. They said it was a broken patella. Your patella is your kneecap, in case you're wondering. So, it's off to see bone specialist Dr Janet Cumberland to find out for sure. So when I look at your x-ray, it doesn't jump out at me as being a break at the end of the kneecap. That could be good news, Zand. Dr Janet cuts off Will's plaster to take a closer look. Does that hurt your hip at all? No. If I do that, does that hurt? Not really. And when I pressed on the end of his kneecap, it didn't really hurt him very much. You point to where that's hurting. Here. Yeah. But it did hurt him over the bruised bits. Although Dr Allison doesn't think Will's bone is broken, she's still concerned and wants to send him for some fresh X-rays. If we do the X-rays in another position, we can see if there's fluid in the knee rather than a broken bone. Find out later how Will gets on. Radiographer Andrew takes x-rays from different angles to help Dr Janet find the cause of Will's pain. That's lovely. OK, I'll finish mine. Now it's time for the results. What I can see on the x-ray is that you've got lots of soft tissue swelling around here and you haven't got anything that suggests that you've got a broken bone inside the knee. No break is good news, but a soft tissue injury can take just as long to heal. A soft tissue injury can involve damage to muscles, ligaments and tendons around the bone. They usually come from a sprain, strain or a whack to the skin, like Will got to his knee. It can swell, bruise and be really painful. So what's the plan, Doc? So what we're going to do with you is we're going to put you in something called a range of movement brace. It will protect your leg and it will protect your knee. Great news. So, Will heads off for his special leg brace. It will allow him some movement, but with support. Can I get you just to pop your fingers there for me? This will encourage his muscles to heal without further damage to the injury. So you'll find that when you start moving your leg, your knee will actually bend a little bit. But it will stop at certain points. It's not going to keep bending. All fixed up. What have you learned, fella? I've learned to not go as fast around corners. Keep it nice and smooth with the bike. Sounds like a plan. Take care. Bye. 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 Is it time? Almost. Is it time now? Almost. It's time to head to the emergency department now. Yes. 12-year-old Isaac has walked, or should I say limped, into the emergency department with his dad. What's happened to your foot? I think I have a broken toe. Ooh, how did that happen? Isaac was at his jiu-jitsu class. He's an orange belt. Well, I'm a black belt. Really? You never said. 
Can he do the helicopter chop? Uh, not sure. The chicken snap kick! Just a minute, son. You're making these moves up. Isaac had a match against a tough opponent. Ooh, I'm impressed. He was picked up by the leg and flung through the air. Whoa! But he landed awkwardly on his foot. Ouch! I've done this six other times to my bones. Six? No way! Where's the dog before he breaks something else? Aha! Here's Dr Alex Damazar to examine Isaac's foot. Can you wiggle it? Oh, a little bit. Broken toes are often classified as minor breaks and are sometimes left to fix themselves. That's all. Yeah. Dr Alex needs to check if this break is more serious. I am going to get an x-ray of your foot because the bit where you're most sore is right in the joint and then we will make a plan from there. Even though your little toe is tiny, it has three bones in it, called the phalanges, and they're connected to a metatarsal bone in your foot. All of these could be broken. That's perfect, thank you. Dr Alex, what's the score? And if you have a look, can you just see there? Mm. That bit's a bit broken. And that bit's a bit broken. OK. Having said that, the joint isn't affected, which is the bit we were worried oh, about. OK. And broken toes heal very, very well. Good news, Isaac doesn't need a cast, so Nurse B. Roberts gets to work strapping his broken toe to the neighbouring toe to hold it in place. Isaac should be back at Jiu-Jitsu in about two weeks. Hi-ya! Zond. Bye, Isaac. I'm here in the studio with Dr Chris, and Dr Chris, I'm going to start with a question that is on everyone's mind today. Who is the next patient in A&E? Well, Zond, I'm very glad you asked me that. Let's go find out! Yes, let's! In the emergency department, eight-year-old Chris is waiting with his mum and dad. What's happened, fella? My leg started hurting. Oh, dear. Let's find out more. It was a beautiful sunny day and Chris was in the playground playing tag. He was playing with bags. He was playing tag, Zond. Oh, right, flags. Zond, he was playing tag. Stags! Right, got it. But that does sound dangerous. No, Zond, he was with his friends playing tag. OK, keep your hair on. Right up. Chris was playing tag. Yes! He was running really fast when all of a sudden his knee twinged with pain and he had to stop. Ouch! It hurts right there, under the knee cap. Well, Chris, we'd better get that leg seen pronto. Here's Dr Sarah Edwards to check out that painful pin. Anywhere else hurting at all? No. So it's just your knee? Yeah. Fantastic. Can you bend it for me? Kneesy does it, Doc. And can you straighten it for me? It pins. It hurts. And it's hurting just at the back here? Yeah. We'll get an X-ray of that knee area just yeah. to have a look, all right? Chris hops off to X-ray, where radiographer Catherine Barnett checks for breaks in that knee. Keep that one nice and straight, that's it. Done. Ah, oh, good old Dad's on hand to carry Chris. Thanks, Dad. What's the verdict, Doc? Looking at the X-ray, there's no obvious breaks or anything that we can see. It does look very swollen, that knee, though. As the joint is inflamed, Chris will have to take painkillers. Bye-bye. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, have you got any advice for when I next play tag, Chris? Be careful and don't run that fast. Sounds good. See ya, fella. Bye.